Uh, oh yeah, the night gamblers. Although, should I probably rest before then? You never know when you're gonna need skill checks. Where's Ivu? I don't, I don't know where Ivu is. Kia. I guess we can go chat to him now that he's here. But where's... Where's my guy? He said he was going to be here. <sighs> where, where will I meet him? I just tried Googling it and I got absolutely nothing. <laughs> I honestly don't know where he is. I don't know how to find him or speak with him. So... <sighs> I guess that's wasted effort. Unless he's in a tavern. But why would the Azada be in a tavern? Uh, anywho, was there anyone else we need to deal with Sozial? Do we have to speak directly to Sozial or... Probably. We really need to rest. Is there a reason you're not appearing? Skills are absolute. Well, currently you're at a deficit, so have fun with that. You're not going to be able to get into any fights, so try not to get into any fights. I kind of wanted to save first, but it just automatically triggered. <laughs> Sol just stares at his cards in the dim light of a candle stop. Deal me two more. I'll double down. Coins clink as I land in the barrel. Deal me another one. What? Another one? Are you bluffing, you little shit? Wait until we lay down our cards and you'll see if I'm bluffing. You don't immediately recognize Sozil's voice. In battle, he's quite incomposed. But now you can hear the furious, passionate excitement in his words. Fine, you scumbag. I call. Deal me another as well. Excitement, passion, and tension seem to hang on the improvised table. It feels like lightning is about to strike. Uh, I'm just going to say silent. Damn, I'm out. The angry soldier angrily throws down his cards in the barrel. Go on, show us what you've got. Read them and weep. Sozio reveals his cards with a gloating laugh. And they were junk. I knew it. You holier than thou types can't bluff. Uh, he did bluff quite well, clearly. I was, and you fell for it. With this, Sozio slams a card on each of the soldier's, soldier's shoulders, like epaulets. I don't remember how to pronounce that word. Uh, and places the rest of the cards on top of his opponent's head. What are you doing? What are you doing? Now you've done it, you. Soldier grabs Sozio by the collar and the cleric immediately raises his fist as if he expected it. At this point, one of the other players spots you in the shadows. Hey, there's someone over there. We've been caught. The jig's up. Let's bail. The candle stub is snuffed out. It isn't. The cards are scattered into the mud. After a moment, only embarrassed Sozio remains. What are you doing here? His voice no longer holds excitement. We did nothing wrong. Well, tempers fled a bit, but that usually doesn't happen, I swear it. I was worried that you got yourself into trouble. Do you think this is an appropriate act, place for a cleric to be spending his time? Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm touched. Really. But I'm perfectly fine. I was just making sure no one else got into trouble. I knew you would never lie to me, so I think you must be lying to yourself. You didn't come here to minister to the soldiers. Why else would I come here then? To win a copper or two? You provoked that soldier. You were practically begging for a fight. I was? No, you misunderstood. That was... Says he will searches for the right words to explain himself, but grows dejected and lowers his eyes. You're right. Shame on me. I provoked the fight. I behaved unacceptably. Forgive me, Shailen. Don't be foolish. You're mortal, just like the rest of us. Not some all-powerful deity of mercy. You need time to relax like the rest of us. Please be honest with yourself. He's got a problem and he needs to sort his shit out, is what I want to tell him, but that's not an option. After a long silence, says he'll nods. Thank you. It's all jumbled up in my mind. This war and the horrors it holds... Our soldiers and what they did, what they tell me in their confessions. My own responsibilities. Lines from Holy Scripture. In the midst of all this, it's easy to forget I have my own needs and desires. Thank you for reminding me. The cleric picks up a dirty playing card and twirls in his fingers. I will not come here again. Please, don't forbid these games. Things here are mostly civil, I swear, aside from the rare heated argument. I'll be honest, I miss playing cards. That excitement when you have almost no chance of winning and the risk is high, even though the stakes aren't life or death. Just a handful of coppers. But I'll try to find a less destructive outlet. Perhaps I'll speak to Irabeth and ask her to play chess with me. I wonder what will come of it. Thank you for helping clear my mind. Good. That's weird. I don't 
know about that one. Uh, we got, yeah, let's go speak to him. And then... I don't know if there's any point going into the, the tavern or the inn. I'm trying to find... Early Sunset? Early Sunset? I think it was the name. And what's the point of having this, these houses? I get that I could enter them during the, the siege on Dresden, but why are they buildings I can currently access? Oh, Kyo gives you a friendly smile. Can the Everbright Crusaders be of service to you, Commander? Uh, leader of the Order, also known as Sir Dandelion. Okay, nothing interesting. Alright, well that wasn't very fascinating. Okay, well in that case let's just rest and be done with it. Why have I hit Y? Ha, huh, get it. And everyone who has spells should have spells already in those slots so I don't have to worry about setting them. Oh no! Dreams have puzzled the minds of mortals since ancient times. Strangely, the most obvious- Oh! I wasn't supposed to rest. I was supposed to move my army. Shit. Done now. Shit. That sucks. Strangely, the most obvious explanation of the mystery of dreams has appeared quite recently. The most obvious but obviously wrong one is that dreams are but the delirium of a tired mind as it digests the day's events. Ancient humans were much smarter when they thought dreams were messages of good patrons or the opposite. The interventions of demonic powers. In this case, both hypotheses are correct, illogical as that may be. The commander is asleep. In her anxious dreams, she sees blood-stained stones, smoking torches, rusty chains and bars. Once again, she's in the dungeons of Dresden, chained in a cell. Huge demons lumber around, clawing at the filthy walls with a horrifying sound. Death in their fanged jaws seems imminent, but more powerful still is the expectations of tortures that never begin. Unable to move, barely conscious, and a horrible semi-delirium, the commander mutters a stream of curses, whispers words of prayer, so he waits whatever happens next. Curses and profanities, what words could better suit this foul place? The fever of endless expectation is broken by a whisper, a gentle fresh of breath air in the stifling darkness. The ruby eyes of a demoness peer at the commander through the bars. She is similar to the other creatures of the abyss, but also entirely dissimilar. Remember me? I am Arishale. You gave me the gift of freedom. Now I will set you free. The chains holding the commander's body crumble to dust. The dark visitor takes a step toward her, passing through the bars as easily as if they were made of paper, and holds out her hand. Fly with me! In response, the commander can only mumble, Let's fly! The succubus bursts out laughing. The dungeon disappears. Oh god, that looks uh, like a one-way trip to death! <laughs> now the demoness and the commander are flying over a moonlit path. Plane. Enemies are hunting you. Demons that have somehow acquired unusual powers that are unprecedented among common demons. You are also hunting them. You are trying to figure out who is sending them and where the source of their power lies. I will show you where to find the answer. A finger with a manicured claw points down to a cliff top, where stands an ancient fortress slowly crumbling to dust. A bell without a tongue, an insane crone. Make it speak once more, and she won't be able to keep her silence either. She will give you all the answers. Wake up and try to understand what happened in the dream. Green gates. Demon's heresy. Get off the screen, I can't read. Oh, it was a cross. The image fades away. The commander opens her eyes and whispers a word. Unknown. Alien. Brought by the passing dream. Green gates. The name of the fortress. If the demoness is to be believed, what a curious notion. There is a deranged crone hiding there who knows where the demons with these unheard of abilities are coming from. It will be intriguing to learn who this crone is, what she knows, and whether this dream is but a trick to lure the commander into another trap. We cannot find out without visiting the place from the dream. So I guess it's been added. <sighs> I guess I can't get out of this. I have to just begin resting. Oh, can I? Ha! I can! Yay! Uh, we need to run to my army. So I can't access it from here, can I? No, I physically do have to leave. Save that. Where is my army, BT Dubs? 
Oh yeah, we were gonna go die. That's a great idea. Um, should I hire more clerics? I don't really have much in the way of uh, finance points. And they're not gonna reach there in time for the battle, but some more clerics wouldn't go too far astray, even though they just keep getting walloped and are of zero use in combat. I really need some tanks, you know? Should I spend a shit ton of money and get some more Hell Knights? A whole 15 of them. That just seems like a waste of money. Hmm. Okay. You get more, but it also costs more. How's this? Marksman and Spearman. You know, I could replace my clerics with Spearmen. They have a nice AC. I like that idea. Please immediately head out for my team. You're not going to make it. And if you did make it, it means that they couldn't go anywhere this day. Oh, but I had 34 clerics in the end. I'd quite forgotten that. They have a lot of HP. Should I switch those two out? I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, so I'm definitely not saving after that. Oh, it doesn't matter. I can't move anyway. I forgot about that. Where is... Uh, yeah, 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 whatever. Um... So that's Grimwood. Where is this? Green Gates. So it's a fortress. I need to take my army. No. No? Can, can I go there in person? Or do I have to send my army? Because, like, that's a location. But is that technically a location as well, or is it like these? There's no army stationed there. So I could technically just go to it, and it is nice and close. <sighs> Should we also go to Winter Sun? Because we need to do that, and that. That kind of seems like the last thing to do, regardless of whatever. Uh... Grabor is saying about the matter. Hmm. And maybe we'll get Ivy back <laughs> to control. Because she's currently not listening to me. It is so gratifying to have a kind and genteel fellow in the party. It feels so peaceful when you are near. If you had more faith in your heart, you would find a peace wherever you went. But I'm glad I can bring you solace. And I still can't select Ivy. Ivy won't do anything. It's time to Kind of weird. The dragon suddenly isn't listening to me. She better come with me in battle or I'm going to be mighty sad. I mean, she's accounted for. It's about all I can say for her. <sighs> um, yeah. So are we gonna try and go to Green Gates? I guess we go up from the Lost Chapel? Or we can go south. Uh, 
I can't go south. And this is why we should probably get the second group leveling as well at the same time. But they aren't ready for a level 6 battle, that's for sure. Not even remotely close. Uh, I'm going to take a risk and go that way. Oh yeah, we've got to figure out what Greyboar does. Other than hack and slash. Oh, and the Triceratops as well. Let's not forget the Triceratops. Graybull. perfect. Study to target as a swift action. A character can study an opponent he can see as a move action. It says a swift action, so why is it a move action? The character then gains a plus one bonus on weapon attack and damage rolls against it. The save DCs of character class abilities against that opponent increase by one. If a character deals sneak attack damage to a target, but he doesn't, he studies that target, allowing him to apply his study target bonuses against that target. Mm-hmm. Study target, swift, just study target. I, what's the difference? Why would you want to use it as a, a move action, swift action? Right, okay. I get it. It's just using the same wording for both. I don't know why, but sure. Oh yeah, Triceratops. Which is just going to thwack repeatedly. God, this party looks an absolute mess. Oh God, it's a clusterfuck. You get back, you get to front line, you get to front line, you get to front line. Oh boy, this is messy. Yeah, this is going to be interesting. Buffamet Cultist Guard. Doubt is the heart's greatest challenge. You know what to do, Lan. Oh, never mind. I can still fight. I quick time up. It's the Crusaders. The Crusaders are here. The Crescent of the Abyss must be informed. Oh, well, rip. They're gone. Let's make this quick. Three, four, five, six. We're a little far back. That gets you in range. Oh god, look at him. Oop, I think damage to land. To my favor. Who are we? We are Daren. Daren, please bless everybody except. <laughs> Fragile because he's gone. Ivu, if you could please numb on him because I don't think he can get to anybody else. Go for it. Oh, I should use my breath weapon. Ouch, you've never been baned, guys. Congratulations. Yeah, you try hitting Ivu. She got a fierce mass DC. Uh, you can charge, but I don't really want you to. Oh, you can't even study him either. Oh, God damn it. Um, at least get in range, I guess. He's so slow. When? Can we just get this archer? And Camellia. Really needs to start casting some spells. Oh, that's how you mount your companion. But how, I don't have that ability. Hampering Hex. Okay, you just need to like get in here. Because you're so far away. Uh, if you would also like to get up here purely so that you can, you know, buff people, that'd be great. Mr. Triceratops. B Bismuth. What would you, who's back here? Oh yeah, Darren's stuck back there. If you'd like to sort of... Hey, you've got the distance, go. And hold. Okay, Rachel. Retreat is not an option. Deflects projectile, 21 damage, miss. 
miss. Miss. Miss. Miss. Tyron, again, only with the one action. I've got to figure out why. Why do you only ever get one action on the first two rounds? It makes you very useless. I voo. Should use breath weapon again. Oh, it doesn't matter. The triceratops is there now. It would be very useful. Burst of glory. I'm not quite sure what that does. Ow! Whew, that was rough. Greyboar, if you could please be so kind. Simply business. <laughs> uh, he was indeed kind. Thank you. You won't survive me. I'll cut you wide open. Doesn't really seem necessary at this point. Go for it. Oh, he only gets one attack. Kneel before me. Whoop! Shunted. Out of my sight. Probably shouldn't waste the bless on this tiny little poultry battle, but done now. Because if you use your breath weapon, you're gonna whack Triceratops. Doesn't matter. Critical hit and you're dead. It's your time. I didn't even use his uh <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> I haven't even used the uh special ability of his. Endure this. Wow. Lan. Can you please take a series of potions? Oopsies, you're not Lan. Because I... Oh, you've got heaps on you already. Really don't want to use Meditate healing spells. Might make you feel better. Okay. Take a bajillion more of those. Oh yeah, that ring we got. What does that do? Magician's ring. This... Plus five compass bonus on use magic. And illusion. Mm. You don't really use illusion. I wish we be putting that on you, but oh well. Cool. Great. Nice work. Oh wait, Ivu's injured. I completely forgot about Ivu. Oh, the waiting's Sorry, can you please heal my dragon? After all of this, it would have been better just to use a goddamn prayer, quite frankly. Because he can't mm, drink Smile. potions. The world's not ending just yet. That was just sad. Should have just used that. I forgot that she was down. Otherwise, I wouldn't have done that. We do it my way. Now, are we gonna? encounter some more issues with this, this, what do they call themselves? I don't even remember now. Some order. There might be another encounter on the road further down the track. Mm. Wait, what? Attack out of nowhere. Explore the Molten Scar. Oh, all the way down there. Yeah, dude, I'm going that way, but like, it's a long way away. I just don't know where we're going, if I'm going to be honest with you. Another random encounter. Can't win. Now what is that? Okay, just avoid it. What do we have here? You Melia. I hope you appreciate this. I do. Thank you. Can't hide from me. Why is this place so trapped? Get the XP for that, please. I am helpful. Am I not? And the XP for that. Uh, do you think we're supposed to be going helpful. right? Am I not? Yes, we are. Uh-huh. I 
I hope you appreciate this. Follow if you dare. Ah, it is these guys again. Hell, Baphomet. Hear our prayers. Accept the sacrifice, Baphomet. Curse you all. Praise be to Amade. Who's this dude up here? That's Waldiff! The fuck? That's her, the one who killed our brothers and sisters. Death to the killer, die. Death to the killer, die. What is Waldiff doing, yo? Looks like Waldiff. It is Waldiff. Waldiff rises from the stone throne and halts the sacrifice with a raised hand. He's been possessed. The cultist holding the knife over the victim on the altar stops. Waldiff is wreathed in blue flame and the demonic shadow rises up behind him. Easy now, we're all friends here. This is just a little misunderstanding. We thought you'd come across crusaders, but they're big fans of our Lord Baphomet too. Waldiff half turns to you, his right eye twitching, which you interpret as an attempt to wink discreetly. <laughs> Ain't that right? Uh, Waldiff, what are you talking about? Uh, yeah, misunderstanding. How Baphomet? Is there a preference? Not wordlessly. Waldra's face lights up. Right, exactly. Pilgrims of the World Wound meet the finest member of our big family. Hey there, Chief. Long time no see. Why don't we hold off on the sacrifice for now? We need to drink to this happy meeting, am I right? Yeah, let's do that. Tie that one up on the altar again. We'll get round to slaughtering it later. <sighs> Why have you looks between you and Waldra in puzzlement? We're playing some kind of game, yes? How come nobody told me the rules? Uh, yes, it is a game. A game of the great forces led by our Lord Baphomet. And you are a worthy player in that game, you evil spawn of the abyss. Ah, I get it. Wait, let me think of what to say. Um, you're right, my evil comrade. I will help you sow horrific horrors and strike fearsome fear into the hearts of mortals. This world has never seen a creature like me before and I knows not what I am capable of. The little dragon is practically bouncing with enthusiasm. Oh my god, they're getting along like a house on fire. The cultist exchange looks and whispers. The chief coldest lowers his knife. If the crescent of the abyss says so, then welcome. Make yourselves at home in the temporary camp of the pilgrims of the world wound. But why did you attack our brothers? Ivy will tell you why we attacked our brothers. <laughs> I took them for common brigands. I wanted to sacrifice those crusaders myself. Well, Jif, why did we attack our brothers? <laughs> oh, Ivy would be much funnier though. They stole our sweeties. <laughs> The cultist looks unconvinced, to put it mildly. Waldorf rolls his eyes in interjection. <laughs> the real reason <clears throat> why they attacked our fellow cultists was because, uh, the chief sometimes has these fits of insanity and battle rage. There's a blessing from Lord Baphomet. The chief goes crazy. She goes crazy and gets twice as strong as normal. You know, to be fair, they attacked me first, so couldn't I just have claimed self-defense? But if a blessing kicks in at the wrong moment, well, that's just bad luck for you. I've had to get away from the craze chief a few times, so I know what I'm talking about. The cultist casts a wary glance at your weapon, but passes no remark. It is good that the Crescent of the Abyss, our beacon in the darkness in our oracle, has resolved this misunderstanding. Relax, friends, and after, if you wish, you may join our pilgrimage. Huh. This is shady, to say the least. Hmm. Whoa, Jeff. Tell me what's happening here and what's with the shadow demon business. Waldorf is waiting for you next to the altar. We're wearily wiping the sweat from his brow. Whew, I thought I was done for. Could feel it in my towel they were going to kill me. If you ain't a sight for sore eyes, chief. When I heard that the gargoyles hadn't got you and that you were running the show up in Dresden now, I can't tell you how happy that made me. But that night it all happened. I tell you, I was so scared I couldn't see straight. I wandered around, wondering if my chief and the rest of the gang were lying in an open field with their eyes pecked out. Waldorf sighs. Even my conscience prickled a little, thinking about how I ran. But when the look, when you look at it from my side, what else was I supposed to do? The actual paladins were getting cut down left, right, and centre. And then these pilgrims of the world wound tell me that Dresden's been reclaimed. That there's a new commander called Lyria. Well, I said to myself, there can't be two demon slaying dynamos with that name. It must be you. So I cut my way through the circles around Dresden, and I waited for you to come out. At one point, I got so desperate, I almost went right up to the city walls. But I thought better of it. Although, an arrow in the sky would be a sight better than running in fear of Voetiel. Voetiel? Well, just sucks in a breath and keeps talking in a rush, like he's afraid you'll turn around and walk away out. Do you know Voetiel? I don't either, but I remember the name because of what Brother Malrun yelled at the basement that time. I'm going to tell Hep, Zamira, and Voetiel. Or something like that. Anyway, my shadow told me 
your shadow told you. But, okay. For his heel is a, that demon, and I should be scared of him, because he's after the moon of the abyss. But the shadow is a whole other story. If you want to know why I haven't just come to Dresden, I need your help. It's a matter of life and death. Slow down, you're not making any sense. What's going on? Okay, I'll shut up. I mean, I won't shut up, but ask me what you want to know. What was that? That was my cunning plan, Chief. Walter's tail is whipping back and forth so far it's a blur. Fast, it's a blur. Why are you pretending to be a cultist? I usually send every cultist of Baphomet to Phrasma. Now you're going to tell me why I shouldn't do the same to you. Pretending to be the cultist of Baphomet? Good thinking, but why did you ask me to do it? You, you've got to the crux of it, Chief. We have a secret mission here, see? To save the life of a good man. In other words, me. Well, not just me, but I'll definitely die too if these guys see something they don't like. I'll be in the altar next to that poor sap before you can say, how Baphomet? Why did you run the night we fought with Argoyles? Run? Me? I fought him. I did. You should have seen me. I go on right on the nose, sent it ass over tea kettle and it flew off. I've gotten into scrapes a few times before, been caught by knives and been caught by surprise in the dead of night more times than I can count. So that's why I leapt up quick as anything, grabbed my knives and, well, of course I made a run for it. What else was I going to do? I'm just a thief, a city boy. I don't go toe-to-toe -to -toe with demons. Sure, I said I'd help you and all, but that was before. I didn't sign up for nighttime gargoyle attacks. What kind of idiot attacks in the middle of the night? I thought war would keep more civilized hours, to be honest. Wrong again. So apologies, Chief, but I always end up on the winning side. It's just my nature. You and your lot in the camp that night did not have a look of victory about you. And it's not like I'd have been much help if a gargoyle snatched me in its claws. Of course I decided to run, and run I did. What's your relationship with the Baphomet cultists? It's complicated. It's a story of unrequited love, really. They love me, and all I think about is how to get away from them and save my own skin. How did you end up with the cultists? Well, you seem to have gotten yourself a nice little setup. Maybe I should just leave you here with your underlings? No. Same way I ended up anywhere. I was walking and walking, and then here I was. Oh, I should mention at this point, my shadow, you know it. Well, it started talking. At first I was so scared I thought there was someone growling behind me, but then I listened closely and it was my shadow. It only got out a few words, but I heard the name Voiziel, and I learned that he's a demon, and that he wants my moon of the abyss for some reason. And then I learned which direction he was looking for me in. When I heard that, I turned around and went the other way. I'm not an idiot. Those pilgrims of the whale wound clubbed me around the head and I woke up, and they were ready, already dragging me to the pillar. I said to him, Brothers, don't drag me to the altar. I have a proposition for you, one you won't want to miss. But they paid no attention and kept dragging me. In the end, I had to show them my party piece. Party piece. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it sound like it's not what you meant? <laughs> they saw my shadow and dropped to their knees, just like that. I fed them a line about how I could speak directly to Baphomet through it, and they lapped it right up. That's why I'm still alive. You said some shadow's been talking to you, is that right? Not just any shadow, my shadow. My special shadow. After I spent a while running around the world wound, scared out of my wits, it suddenly crept out and whispered in this distant-sounding voice, Voiziel, North. Fear Voiziel, and the name was familiar, because that's what Brother Melrin yelled out. And I put two and two together. If Voetio was in the north and I needed to make sure he didn't find me. Bit by bit, I got the shadow to tell me that Voetio was a demon and that he was looking for the moon of the abyss. Who knows why? By the way, I have a couple of thoughts of my own about the moon. I'll tell you about them once we're out of this mess. Remind me why I shouldn't just kill all these cultists here and now? Because Waldorf looks around and lowers his voice to a conspiratorial whisper. whisper. <sighs> conspiratorial, whatever. They will still be useful to us if you decide to help me. And thanks for not trying to kill him as soon as you got here, by the way. The leader is a nervous sort. He would have definitely stabbed the lad on the altar if you caused a fuss. They think if they perform all these sacrifices, Baphomet's going to appear and hand out powerful spells like candy. So what do you want from me? In a nutshell, Chief, I've got a bit of a situation here. One wrong move and I'm a goner. The demon Voetiel is in the vicinity somewhere. A good man has suffered. The cultists are animals. I just want to get out of this and make Voetiel back off. Without you, I've no chance. Help me. I won't forget it as long as I live. Who is Voetiel? All I know is he's a demon that brother that sent Brother Melrin to get the... Melrin. Melrin. That was the other tiefling, right? Yeah, the other tiefling. Gotcha. I just kept thinking, like, who is this person supposed to be? But now I remember. Now that I have the moon, Voetiel's after me. I'm already tired of running from him. He's going to catch me soon. I can feel it. What part of the cultists is playing in your plan? Waldorf glances around, making sure you're not overheard. Do you know why they call themselves the Pilgrims of the Wild Wound? Because they're itching to meet big-name demons like Baphomet. It's like they're on a pilgrimage. So that got me thinking. Since they listen to me, we can lead them to Voetiel and mess with their heads a bit. Say that Baphomet's been calling them nasty names, and that the cultists fight Voetiel for us. It'll be a riot. 
Cult is helping us take out a demon? Well, what do you think? What good part, man, are you talking about? Me, of course. Walter <laughs> folds his arms. I'm a prisoner here, you know. And I suppose there's also the other fella, Devil. Devil? 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 The one that's tied up. Where is he tied up, by the way? Hmm. Is that him? He doesn't really look tied up. Those hands kind of look tied up. I kind of own one. I made a dumb mistake, and now he's paying for it. Now, don't get me wrong. I couldn't care less about the guy. He got himself into this mess. Except, if it wasn't for me, they maybe wouldn't have caught him in the first place. These pilgrims kept asking me, will we have long to wait for the favours of Lord Baphomet? As though just because I have my shadow, I should know? What am I, some kind of demon whisperer? I just put on a kind of knowing air and said to him, do as you have been doing and the favours will come. They took that to mean that they needed to keep cutting people up on the altar. I tried to put them off that idea, but they didn't listen. I acted like I was discussing things with my shadow and I kept trying to hold them off, saying that the stars weren't in alignment, that raining eyeballs was a bad omen. I'd run out of ideas just before you showed up, chief. I was already considering just letting them do it. He was a crusader after all, you know? Demons would probably get him in the end any other way. It's not my fault that's how they do things. It was either him or me. Walter well, sighs and turns away. His tail is twitching from side to side in agitation. There is one way to get both of us out, but I can't manage on my own. I need your help. I'll help you deal with Vodzio. Scrubland by a bend in the river. Walter's face lights up and the tail, tip of his tail dances through the air. I always knew you were a special sort, Chief. Let's go break his horns off. We need to go to a patch of scrubland by a bed bend in the river. It's not fair. I'll show you. Um, I'm going to have to manually add you to my party, which means I have to take somebody out. And now that I have Greybor, I don't have Sula to take out. It might have be Camellia, quite frankly. Mm -hmm. But I'm not going to be able to give you her shit because we're not at base. Nothing interesting about the place at all, but that's where I was when my shadow came out and started pushing me back the other way. Is that the Voyager would find me easily there, and then it'd swoop in and tear me limb from limb as soon as I popped up. I wasn't long turning away from that place, I tell you. There's just one other thing. We need to round up my lackeys and send them off on an errand. While they're gone, we can free the prisoner. No point leaving him here to be bored stiff, right? How are we going to accomplish this feat? Listen up, brothers, sisters, the shadow has spoken. It says that a demon will- why don't you just get them to fight, Voetio? It says that a demon will come to a secret place, a wasteland where there are almost no trees left, next to a bend in the river. We once passed by there, but we took a wrong turn and didn't find it. Glorious day, before we set off, I say we make the sacrifice. Uh, I say let's hold off on the sacrifice, and time's wasted, and demons are busy, you know. Leave your things and go. I must meditate before such an event, and when I'm all meditated out, I'll come and summon the demon to you. Commander, a moment of your time. The young crusader cautiously gets to his feet, unable to believe that he is finally free. At last, the day has come when those odious faces will no longer be looming over me. The cultists hid my weapons and armor somewhere. I'll find them, and I'll take my leave of this place forever. They're over there with the rest of the stolen stuff. I made sure they didn't go walkies in the night. I hoped you'd make it out of this, somehow. Thanks to your efforts, Waldorf. Go, time is of the essence. If there is a demon hunting you, better to lure him into a trap and strike first. Who are you? Devil Gwenviar, at your service. Neverman, Crusader, and only surviving member of my unit. Oh, that's a bitch. What do you plan to do now? Find my armor and weapons, find something to eat, and then leave this place as quickly as possible. The Crusader looks ahead with grim determination. Perhaps I will die in the wound, but I will die with a sword in my hands, not like an animal at a slaughterhouse. And if I do make it out, I should build a temple in Iomade's honor in my hometown. You're rich enough to build a temple if you fancy it? You were complaining that your parents don't give you enough money. I think we have slightly different conceptions on what counts as enough money. In any case, money is no longer a concern of mine. My life and my legacy belong to the goddess who sent you and the commander to my aid. How'd you end up here? Silly through my own foolishness. Because of my inability to fight like a man, I thought the crusade would be the best way to make my master in history. Mark on history. I dreamt of the glory, the respect that would be otherwise denied me as a third son of a noble family. When an officer laughed at my skills and called me an ignorant interloper, how right he was. Fate has a twisted sense of humour. My more experienced comrades died in this cursed place, one after another. But I survived. There were only five of us left in the end. Our hubris was gone. We were jumping at every shadow. And we weren't, still weren't cautious enough. I was the only one who survived after we attacked in the night. I should have realised what was happening when the lookout went missing. May Yomade keep you. Nah. And I probably, like, actually need him in the party as well. If only I'd had the foresight to take things off Camellia, but like, when would I have had the foresight? I haven't had a chance to myself. Mm. Can 
Can I take her stuff? Damn it. I wish it gave me the option to take people's stuff. <laughs> oh, okay. Level. Uh, Dex for sure. And you need to do mobility and trickery and stealth. Because... Um, Camellia isn't here to do it anymore. And you still want to do perception, don't you? Sure. Oh, and another one? Okay. Yep, whatever. Take it, sir. I didn't use Camellia for any knowledge, did I? I don't think I did. Uh, manually leveling up. Um, combat trick. Fast stealth. I never use stealth. To be fair, that's my fault and nobody else's. Focusing attack. The character is confused. Oh, that's cool. Poisons. Does not provoke attacks opportunity when standing up from prone. Oh, that's nice. That means I could actually heal him in battle and bring him back up. I might have to... I might have to get that. Mind affecting slow reactions. Opponents damaged by... Uh, they don't make a tax opportunity anyway. So there's nothing recommended to me, only unrecommended. <laughs> Rogue with the stun gets very difficult to rain. Gains trip as a bonus feat. Even if she doesn't... What does trip do? This feat gives the character an ability to perform the trip combat manoeuvre. It also grants a plus two bonus to CMD performing this manoeuvre, and a plus two bonus to CMD when defending against it. You can attempt to trip your opponent in place of a melee attack. If your combat manoeuvre is successful, your target is knocked prone. If a target has more than two legs, add a plus two to the DC of the combat manoeuvre attack roll for each additional leg it has. Some creatures such as oozes, creatures without legs, and flying creatures cannot be tripped. That kind of sounds pretty cool as well. Takes away his attacks, but it puts somebody on the ground and makes them easy to attack. Uncanny dodge. Can react to danger before a sense of not she land. She cannot be caught flat footed. She loses the taste of mobilized. Eh. And a handed trick. A rogue who selects this talent gains dirty trick as a bonus feat, even if she does not meet the prerequisites. Hmm. I think jump up for now. Yeah. Oh yeah, you do spells as well. Oh, that's right, you had haste. I had quite forgotten. <sighs> what do you want? What did she have? What did Camellia have? I didn't use anything that she had, let's face it. So anything really would be appropriate. <clears throat> Preferably level three. P shape, bling, deep slumber, displacement, fire, but force punch. <sighs> Greater magic weapon. forecast levels. Mm, heroism. Lightning bolt. Protection from arrows. Huh. Neat. Rave exhaustion. It's immediately exhausted for the spell's duration. Excess of fortune saving means creatures only fatigued. Mm. See invisibility? Communal. Oh good. So if like Nura had done this when Waldorf was in the party. He could have just gone, yeah, nah, uh, uh, we can see you. Ooh, slow. Ooh, oh, all enemies. Yes, please. I think we'll be taking slow. Spiked pit. Sting cloud summon monster three. Vampiric touch. Hmm. You gain temporary hit points one hour later. I'll take that. Again, I don't know if you want something else, but this is what you're stuck getting. Improved two-up in fighting. Oh, yes. You get a second attack. Yes. Take it. Love it. Enjoy it. Oh no, two more? I just struggled to pick those ones as it was. Do I want any others? Not really. Although mirror image might be useful. Might be useful. 
And... <sighs> Displacement. Appears to be about two feet away. Hmm. Should we make someone angry? No, not a deficit to the AC. You never know. You never know. Might come in handy. Oh, you're highly intelligent. My word. Oh yeah, we're level 10 now, aren't we? Advanced talents. Don't know what that means, but I'll take it. Uh, two more. Ooh, level four spells. An acid pit. Beast shape. Controlled Fireball, Contagion. Ah, uh, Spell Resistance. I'm like, is there a, a roll to attack? Spell Resistance. Hmm. Dimension Door. You may also bring with you all friendly creatures within a 10 foot radius around you. It sounds quite useful. We can get everybody closer to the fight. Or GTFO, either or, take your pick. Uh, innovation. Mm. Obsidian flow. You give it a thing the ground to molten glass that cools quickly. Take 1d4 points of fire damage for two cast to levels and become entangled to them successful. They're near. Nah. Overwhelming grief. Because a single opponent become over profoundly spell resistance, damn it. Strict them with intense grief. They can take no actions. Take a minus to party to AC and lose their dexterity bonus, if any. That sounds pretty good. Mm. Going grief sounds good. Use materials in the plane of shadows to shape quasi real illusions of more one or more creatures. What are we doing this? Target point within close range. Shadow conjuration can mimic any source. Oh yeah, I kind of remember reading this with Nenio. Spells that have deal damage have normal effects unless always. We'll save. Just because he has this little shadow thing, I kind of feel like that's appropriate, right? Anyway, what's advanced talents? After 10th level, you can choose one of the advanced rogue talents in place of a rogue talent at 10th level. After 10th level. Whatever. And what would you like for mythic? Ah, it's not going to automatically pick it, damn it. I wish you could turn automatic back on. I don't bloody know what you want. Mythic Sneak Attacker? Your Sneak Attack deals an additional 1d6 damage. See, that sounds really smart. Is there anything else you, like, seriously want? I could take a passage of swift action. No. 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 Could be useful to strike, but no. Could get weapon finesse. When using weapon finesse, you may also use a dexterity modifier and strength mods. On your damage rolls. Ooh. Do I want that or additional damage? I don't know. We'll take sneak attacker and then take weapon finesse next if I can. If I can. Oh, this is different. This is an ability. Not a feat. Damn it, gotta level up to get that. Damn it! Should've done weapon finesse. Okay, uh, then what do you want? No, no, no. Definitely not. No, no. Hmm. I mean, 
that's kind of useful for you as a melee character, but... You can tell it has three points. No. Ever ready? Mm-hmm. Every third hit with a ranged... I'll stand HP, Lydia. Every time you hit a target in melee combat, you leave a mark on it. You see, that seems more useful. So, leading strike. Your shadow spells are 20% more real. Oh, that would be useful for your shadow companion, anything that I'm going to be summoning. Mm, yeah, okay. Nothing particularly useful. So, you either do that or you make your shadow bow more powerful. I'm just going to do that. Oh, me? And you currently are reducing their attack rolls. Until I see otherwise, go for it. Stone call, create pit. Oh, because you have to rest. Yeah, right. Okay. I forgot about that. And I put my dagger in storage. Yeah. Okay, well, let's loot before we depart. Oh, now Regal is the one doing the looting. Haha. <laughs> oh no, Lan's doing some as well. And the Triceratops is gone because I don't have the opportunity to redo my front line. Oh no, what was your AC again? Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I'm not really going to use you for haste, actually. I'm going to use you for slow. Hmm. I took it, but I'm still more inclined to use slow. And I have no attack on that, so I'll put that in. Yeah, these abilities I totally use. You want another grease? Uh, sure, have all the grease a guy could want. Oh my god, he's on 21? Can you not wear any armor? This is gonna go really poorly. Because I don't have the opportunity to buff you in my current state. I have to go back to base to buff you. I should have just gone with Camellia. But then I would have had to come back. Because he's the one who has to go to the bend in the river. Right? Shit. He's so squishy now. I have to go back to base. But it's not like it's urgent. So, you know. 